Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Steve with Rake and Profit. Coming to you with another video, and this video is a beginner video. Been getting a lot of questions lately, asking, uh, Steve, how do you ship out your items? Are you using a poly mailer? Are you putting it in a box? How exactly are you doing it? Well, I've made it, I've kind of made a video about this before in the past, but I figured since I've been getting so many questions, I would make another video showing you the, the most common way that I ship items out. And in front of you, I have my shirt. I have a poly mailer that you can buy off eBay. And then I have a clear poly mailer, mailer that you can also get off eBay. It's very light and thin and just gives your, you know, shirt something to sit in, something that looks really professional and nice for when the buyer opens it up. So anyways, uh, in front of you is a Ralph Lauren shirt. It weighs less than 13 ounces. So if you have an item that weighs thir less than 13 ounces, you can ship it first class mail, and that's usually the cheapest way. It's usually about uh, $3.30 if it's 13 ounces, and anywhere down to about $1.85 to 2 bucks if you get it at like 5 or 6 ounces. But anyways, most shirts are going to be around 9, 10, 11 ounces, so you're going to be paying about $2.50 to 3 bucks a pop. So let me show you how I do it here. I take the clear little poly mailer and I open it up and I stick the shirt in. Then I get all the air out, fold that over. And then I have a little sticker that I have and it's a, uh, it's like a little thank you. It says, thank you for uh, your eBay purchase. Our goal is to earn your five-star, 100% positive feedback. If you have any problems with this transaction, please give us an opportunity to make it right before leaving negative feedback. And it's just a little thank you and kind of gives us a little reassurance that the buyer is going to leave some good feedback and uh, if there's a problem, they'll contact us first instead of leaving negative feedback or just shipping it right back. So there it is. It's in a little plastic bag. Got the thank you little thank you sticker on it. You could get that off eBay. Just type in thank you sticker into the uh, search bar and you get like 100 or 200 for like, I don't know, five or six bucks. And anyways, we're gonna take the poly mailer and we're gonna stick it in. Pretty basic, easy stuff. If you're new, this is probably gonna help. If you've been doing this for a while, this is probably uh, not for you, so you might as well just shut it off. All right, and then you uh, just close the sticker on the back. I'm not going to do it because I'm not shipping this out actually right now. But there you go. If you have a printer and a scale, you can print out your own postage and stick it right on the top. I, I, uh, this is just a regular piece of paper, but I do have adhesive paper. It's like a little sticker. You could peel it right off and stick it on. And uh, also, if your item's more than 13 ounces, which means it won't qualify for first class mail, I usually use a flat rate mailing envelope. There's two sizes. Uh, this is the bigger one. It's $4.99 if you go through eBay and the smaller one's $4.95. So pretty much when I'm shipping out clothes, even jackets, I can usually shove them in these uh, flat rates. I'm either going to use the flat rate envelope or I'm going to use the first class mail. So it's pretty much the only methods or mediums that I use for shipping. So hopefully this video helped. I know it's kind of a newbie video and a lot of you folks out there are more advanced, but hopefully this helps somebody out. Like I said, I've been getting a lot of questions. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below if you have any questions and subscribe. Check me out on Facebook at Rake and Profit if you want to uh, learn a few things on there and see some of my daily updates. Hope this helped. Take care.